Hey guys, my name is Chris. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about my top eight spring niche fragrances list 2024 edition. What are your favorite fragrances you guys are going to wear in 2024, your spring niche list? Drop your comments down below. And at the end of this video, I'll leave a card where you can watch my 2024 spring designer fragrance list edition as well before the video starts one of these fragrances here that i talk about i did get for free from the brand but please keep in mind all opinions on my own but the other seven fragrances i talk about today i paid for my hard-earned money working overtime my job these were not sent to me by brands number eight fragrances from that house of narratives buffum with collaborations ai the great this here is amorous intense this fragrance here is awesome guys First off, beautiful bottle presentation as well. I met her a couple months ago. They had a perfumology event where they had a Navitus brand. I met the owner of the brand and I met two other ladies that are had their own fragrances, including this one here. She's an amazing uh, fragrance reviewer. I'll leave her channel down below. Definitely check her out on YouTube and Instagram. This fragrance here has three different types of opening the mid and the dry down. So this fragrance opens up, you're definitely getting this fruit juice jolly rancher vibe in the opening and then you definitely get a little bit of freshness coming from that greenness with the jolly rancher they look, they look at applesauce type of vibe with this fragrance here it's very applesauce sweet vibe in the middle of the fragrance you're definitely getting um some french coffee definitely getting a coffee effect aroma and in the dry down you're definitely getting some vanilla and cinnamon this fragrance here is fire guys if you want a sweet slightly fresh gourmand fragrance for your springtime maybe summer but i feel like summer might be too hot this is definitely a banging fragrance i love the beautiful bottle presentation kelly got this for me for christmas last year as a cool little christmas early gift performance is phenomenal eight plus hours projection for the first two to three hours nice projection this one here is a great unisex fragrance so a man who well as well as a female guys if you like this fragrance that has different type of notes not your basic regular notes and it changes from the opening to the mid to the dry down definitely check out amorous intense by navitas buffon for collaboration with ai the great number seven fragrance is from the house of byredos i like byredo fragrance they have so many they have sundays they have gypsy water and they have bought a freak this one here is a newest release of 2023 this is animalik this is an awesome scent guys so if you like leather, you're going to like this. It has leather, it's sway, it has a nice bit of freshness coming from the bergamot and lemon in the opening. You're definitely getting some vanilla and some creaminess in the dry down. They don't list vanilla, they list amber, but amber kind of gives off that vanilla creamy type of feel. This is an awesome scent, guys. Something you haven't smelled before. Definitely nice. I know some people kind of say it smells similar to Tom Ford. I think it's white sway. That one, it has the same vibe, kind of like, but I feel like this is a little bit more different. This has better projection and better longevity than that does. This is a great leathery suede fragrance that isn't too pungent, not in your face. It's very nice and easy. Whereas a leather fragrance, and Kelly likes this one as well. Longevity, I'm easy getting eight plus hours on my skin. Projection is good for, I would say the first, maybe hour and a half, maybe pushing two hours. But by then, after the two hours, it does come closer to the skin, but it leaves a nice sillage. And this one is very different. This is selling a lot at uh, Neiman Marcus and the Saks is selling out a lot. So definitely check out Anna Malik by Byredos. Number six fragrance from the PDM, my favorite brand or performs the Marley. This is Sedley. So Sedley is a good fragrance. Definitely has that spearmint, that freshness. It's a very fresh and blue type of fragrance. And this one I like a lot. There's bergamot. This one here, it kind of gives off that blue vibe in a fragrance, but it's very easy to wear, right? You grab it, go, you spray and go. Now I have the first batch that came out. They had the best performance. I'm getting about three to four hours. I know they have, a, they, they, they did reformulate it and put it in a bigger 125 mil bottle. That one I can say you're easily gonna get eight plus hours. I've tried it at Perfumology. There is a difference off of this fragrance, the, the original and then the reformulation one. Nevertheless, some people say they don't. I'm not gonna argue with it, but for me, this is a great fresh and clean blue fragrance. It's nothing to write home about, but I do enjoy this blue, fresh, minty fragrance. It's different than your normal Blue de Chanel and your Sauvage. You guys gotta get a sample. It's hard to describe this fragrance without actually smelling it. I try my best in these videos, but get yourself a sample of this or any other fragrance I talk about. I'll leave links down below to Perfumology and Brian, your guy will definitely take care of you. But this is definitely a nice fresh and blue take on a fragrance, just like Perfumes de Marley Greenly and so like Galloway. This here, I feel like it's just more refreshing with the mintiness in it and it lasts and lasts a good bit of time on your skin. I got about three to four hours. Some people say they get about six to eight hours. Depending on your skin chemistry, this is a great easy spray and go fragrance. And I found one person that was offended by it. 
definitely check out performance of Marley. This is sadly. Number five, fragrance for now to go for the banks. They have so many amazing fragrances. List goes on and on. Ingenuous Ginger, Pacific Rock, Moss. Um, this here is from the House of Goldfin and Banks. This is Bohemian Lime. This one here is fire. Definitely a lime, freshing, green type of fragrance. This reminds you of waking up in the morning. You want to have a nice energy boost. Spray some ice on your skin. You're going to smell amazing. And you're going to feel energized to tackle your day. Whether you're going to work, running errands, or just waking up in the morning to live another beautiful day. This is an elegant, beautiful scent. If you like the note of lime, you know it's called finger lime. It's a beautiful lime fragrance definitely fresh clean breezy type of fragrance that you can wear any season spring fall winter summer this does have um a type of creed aventus ish vibe people do tell me that when they smell it off me it's not the same but if you put them side by side you can smell the difference on your skin you kind of pick out here and there you know a little bit here and there it's definitely a great versatile scent it's one of the long lasting fresh fragrances from the house of gold foot and banks it's a very refreshing lemon lemon lime blast fresh fragrance that you can wear in any situation i think this one here will actually you know show off a little bit more when you wear it with a nice button up or a polo maybe a pair of nice shorts or whatever you can dress this up with a suit and tie this is a great fragrance you're going to get noticed wearing something like this and like i said before easy reach three four five sprays you're going to smell amazing and if you want a easy fragrance to get into the niche game definitely check out bohemian line this is from the house of Goldfoot and Banks. Number four fragrance from the house of Frederick Moore. They have so many amazing banging fragrance. Portrait of a Lady, the list goes on. This one here is from Frederick Moore. This is Uncut Gem. This one here is Fire Guys. My friend Steve Red Lessons hyped this fragrance up. I really do like it. I went out and tried it. Chris, you're gonna love it. So I tried this fragrance. There's bergamot, there's ginger, there's vetiver, there's musk, there's amber. This is a great fragrance. A very nice, fresh and clean easy to wear fragrance from Sir Frederick Mall. A lot of their fragrances are kind of on the daring side or kind of on the, the fragrance aficionado side where they're not something you would wear out in public, but you appreciate it as a fragrance that you wear around your house or a fragrance that, you know, you want to feel special, but you know you may not have gone comments. This is an easy to wear, fresh, sweet type of fragrance. Definitely a great, I would say more of a masculine scent, but some women say they wear it as unisex. It is what it is. I think it's more of a masculine scent. It's great. There's actually a leather vibe to it as well. I'm not sure if leather is listed as a note. Definitely a leather feel to it. This is a great fragrance guy. I love this one, guys. But I wish you. I wish I could afford the bigger bottle, but the bigger bottle is like 400 bucks. This was like, I think 290 when I got a little discount at Neiman Marcus. Longevity, easy eight plus hours. And projection, I'll play the first maybe one to two hours of nice moderate projection. It's not a beast mode, but People are going to catch wilds within the first two hours of wearing it around you, or being in your vicinity, and CIs is very nice as well. This is a great easy work scent. This could be a great signature scent for somebody that wants to smell fresh and clean with a little bit of sweetness to it, a little bit of green with the vetiver and a little bit of musk as well. Definitely check out Frederick Moore, and this is Uncut Gem. Number three, fragrance for now is Zoologist. This bottle was sent to me for free as a gift, so thank you, Victor Juan and the Zoologist brand. This fragrance here is called Harvest Mouse. This fragrance here is fire. I smelled this before it actually came out about four or five months in advance, which I do appreciate that. This fragrance here is fire, guys. I love the beautiful bottle presentation. Little cute little mouse, like my fiance could would say. And wow, this has notes of bergamot. There's vanilla, there's a poppinax, there's sandalwood, there's clove. Um, there's a beer ale note as well. You definitely get like a beer type of feel, which I get. I like to drink beer, so I kind of get that vibe in here. But definitely getting this wheat or hay vibe in the fragrance. Definitely some orange blossom and definitely get a nice bit of freshness. It's like a fresh and a sweet fragrance at the same time, like a fresh slash gourmand fragrance that you can wear any time of year. It will shine in the fall and winter time because it has the depth and it has a good amount of freshness that you can wear in the spring and summer. I think I'll wear it more spring than summer. But by all means, wear it whenever you want. You're buying the fragrance. It is $175 for a 60ml bottle. I love the beautiful gold juice. This fragrance is fire, guys. Automatically, it's a 10 out of 10, in my opinion. Don't take my word for it. Buy samples at zoologist.com. I'll leave links down below or perfumology.com. This fragrance here is amazing. Victor Juan, this fragrance here is a masterpiece. This is something that you'd be like, wow, I smell so different and amazing. Kelly likes it as well. Definitely check out the whole zoologist brand and definitely check out Harvest Mouse. My favorite from the brand I would say is to this day, current day is still zoologist Panda. Definitely check that out as well. Number two fragrance, easy to be my number one. They're both banging fragrances, but I'm gonna pick number one over number two and I'll explain why later on. Number two fragrance from the house of Enwash. One of my favorite brands I'm starting to like a lot. This is Enwash Search. So some people don't like Search. Let me tell you why. It's definitely a fresh fragrance. I love the magnetic cap. 
And this fragrance here has notes of mandarin orange, there's bergamot, there's lemon, there's um, there's guyac wood or AKA oud, there's elamine, there's resins, there's pepper, obanum. This here is a great fresh fragrance, it's a long lasting fresh fragrance, but you're definitely getting some oud and incense. So the incense and the obanum and the patchouli, I feel like patchouli, but they don't list it in this fragrance where it's kind of off-putting to some people. You're definitely gonna get that freshness through life of the fragrance. The freshness lasts and lasts a long time, but you're gonna be put off by the obanum and the incense and the resin is gonna be too much for some people to bear. Even Kelly said that when I had it on my skin, I did three sprays, she said that was a lot. But this is one that a fragrance aficionado that likes different fragrances will love something like this. It is fresh and it has a little bit of oud and there's some incense. This is a great fragrance. This is a 10 out of 10 for me personally. I love something like this. I've been reviewing fragrances for seven plus years now. This is very different and unique than your regular typical Blue Day Chanel, your Sauvage. This is something you wear with a suit and tie, looking your best or going to Sunday brunch. This is a statement maker type of fragrance. Now you definitely need a sample. This is not blind by worthy at all. Please don't do it to yourself, but it's definitely a fantastic fragrance. Longevity, eight plus hours. I can go through a whole day. I'm talking maybe 10 to 12 hours, okay? But normal people might get eight hours. Projection good for like the first two hours and has nice moderate projection around. You're going to catch wild stuff throughout the day. I like this a lot. It's a nice gentleman fragrance in my opinion, but this is definitely going to be for the somebody that has more of a developed nose and fragrances, not your newbie coming into the game. Definitely check out and watch this is search. My number one fragrance, what do you guys think it is? Drop a comment down below. It's from the house of Rocha Parfum. This is Elysium O Intense. This is a beautiful bottle presentation. I like the silver cap here. And I like the gradient from light to light blue to dark. This fragrance here has notes of bergamot, there's rhubarb, there's lemon, lily of the valley, there's sandalwood, vanilla, the list goes on and on, right? Rosa has so many notes in her fragrances, you can't pick out all of them, which is crazy, right? Nevertheless, this is a great fragrance. If you're washing your clothes, you get that blue damp smell once you take out your clothes that are dirty and you clean them and you put them in the dryer. You kind of get that smell with this here. It's very refreshing. Definitely getting that laundry detergent vibe with a fragrance like this. For me personally, when I put that fabric in to clean the clothes, I definitely get that vibe here. This is one where some people might think it's kind of boring, but it's definitely a fresh and blue type of fragrance, minus your heavy embroxen or, or heavy um, fragrances like Blue de Chanel, Dior Sauvage. It's definitely a blue fragrance, but it does its own twist and definitely, definitely getting a fabric softener vibe with this here. I like it a lot, guys. Kelly is the biggest fan of it. She said it's nice, but it's too expensive for what it is, but definitely try it out for yourself. If you try Blue Day Chanel, Dior Sauvage, and you felt like you're tired of fragrances, step into the niche game, try something like this for the first time you're gonna like this, or try the original Elysium Parfum Cologne, or try uh, Creed Aventus or Creed Aventus Cologne. These are definitely blue fragrances. You're gonna smell fantastic as a gentleman in couple sprays and you're gonna smell good. You're not gonna offend anybody. First off, you're gonna smell fantastic. And I received a compliment wearing this from my friend Josh at work. I did five sprays. He's like, man, I can smell you across the room. And I didn't think it would even be a, a heavy scent, but apparently off my skin, it's beast mode. It's radiating off my skin for like the first, I would say one and a half to two hours of projection and longevity, I'm getting about six hours. Now he smelled it past the eight hour mark. So maybe you can still smell it off me. I kind of went nose blind to it after six hours, but it's a phenomenal fresh and clean, I would say shower gel-ish slash fabric softener vibe. If you like fragrance like that, definitely check out Roche Parfum. This is Elysium O Intense. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you like this type of content, please share your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Make sure you like the video and click the bell icon to miss any future content on this channel. Be safe, everyone. I'll catch you in the video very soon. Peace.